I take care of patients who have pancreatic disease, whether that's pancreatic cancer, uh, cysts in the pancreas that we worry could turn into cancer, not dissimilar from thinking about polyps in the colon. And I also take care of a lot of patients who have severe pancreatitis, uh, who may uh, require operative intervention to uh, ultimately get them to the other side of that process. I also, as I mentioned, uh, perform a lot of gallbladder surgery, really just um, sort of the other end of the spectrum, patients who have very benign disease gallstones, um, as well as take care of patients who have uh, other types of gastrointestinal uh, tumors or, or um, problems of, such as a blockage of the stomach, blockage of the bowel. So I do a lot of uh, gastrointestinal surgery as well. I think when, um, when a patient comes for a surgical consultation, obviously there's often a lot of fear. Um, certainly I've been a patient and had some surgical procedures and it's very hard to give up that sort of control of self, um, again, to think about letting somebody do an invasive procedure. And so depending on the situation, if it's a patient who has cancer, I usually start by trying to understand what they've been told so far, what their level of understanding is, and making sure that I'm not talking in a foreign language, uh, as we often tend to do as physicians, and that they understand what we're proposing to do, and, and really trying to be as honest as possible about what the potential benefits versus risks are. Um, there are some times when an operation makes absolute 100% perfect sense, and there are some times when we can offer an operation, but there's certainly no guarantee on the other side that that, that will make things perfectly better. And so I think it's just really important that we uh, are all perfectly honest with each other in terms of expectations and what we can and can't deliver with an operation so that uh, they can make an informed decision about the operation.